What's up, what's up everybody? I can't believe it's taken me this long to do a how to ruin Ifrit's video. Mostly because I just assume that everyone knows how to ruin Ifrit's at this point. But I don't think that's entirely true. I know people have asked for this. And I'm like, really? You need a how to ruin Ifrit's video? I'm like, yeah, why would we not need a how to ruin Ifrit's video? We don't know everything that you know. And I know a lot of people, I don't know. I just assume since the game's been out that everyone just knows everything all the time. So I'm like, eh, I'm just saying stuff that people know. And they're like, no. We don't. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting off topic. I wrote notes so I could stay on topic. How to ruin Ifrit's. Here we go. First one, Theomars. Violent all day, right? Do we need to say more? Violent all day. So two set of will. There's a little bit of finesse though. Two set of will or revenge are best. Whatever gives you great subs. Speed, crit damage, attack. Standard. Attack, crit damage, attack with speed subs around 200. Speed approximately or more if you're debuff. Okay, so attack speed. Two, you want you wanted to have 200 attack speed or more, but it depends on your buff debuff situation. Like if you're using Orion, Orion uses skill three, not a problem. If you're using him with Chasun, if you're using Theo Mars with Chasun, you want your Chasun to be a little bit faster. So if Chasun is like 189, you don't want Theo Mars to be 195. Makes no sense. You want Chasun to be a little bit faster. Um, so it really depends on the buff debuff situation if you're using it with those. Uh, but as fast as, as as fast as he possibly can be gives him more turns to potentially proc and also do more damage since his damage is based on speed. So you want speed, crit damage, attack, generally a lot of those. Um, so again, if you pair Jasun with him, Jasun should be faster. If you pair Rakuni with him, however, Rakuni should be a couple speeds slower so that Rakuni will use his second skill to increase the attack age of Theomars and also give him a speed buff. So for example, if you have Theomars moving first, he does skill two, he does the uh, the defense break, potentially does skill one again, because he's gonna proc, and potentially does skill one again. And then Rakuni comes in after that and gives him, Rakuni's most likely going to use his second skill on the unit that has the lowest attack age, which is gonna be Theomars, because he just moved, giving him another turn, and then going in for, which is a, an attack power buff, because you're buffing his speed, right? So he's gonna come in, he's gonna use skill, uh, skill one, because he's got skill two on cooldown, probably. And he's gonna come in, he's gonna, he's gonna basically wreck something. So you get so many turns in a row using that combination, but Rakuni should be slightly slower than Theomars to get that combination working correctly. Chasun should be slightly faster than Theomars so that she can attack power buff, or whatever other attack power buff that you have, uh, with you. Um, so if you ruin Theomars, keep in mind that if you ruin him too fast, you want him to be as fast as possible to get his turn cycling as much as possible, but if you ruin him too fast, he can outspeed your buff and debuff units. Uh, another thing, Theomars does not need 100% crit rate. You really don't need too much crit rate on him. He awakens into crit, plus he has element advantage, plus he has his uh, crit rate leader if you really need it as well. So there really doesn't need, I mean, I wouldn't go like 50% crit rate on Theomars, right? That's, that's too low. But you don't need, like, don't go high. You don't have to worry about going higher than 85% on Theo Mars. So, and if you really, if your Theo is low on crit, again, you can use the leader skill to buff it up as well. Uh, so, another thing. People are building tankier Theo Mars for Guild War and Guild Siege nowadays. So, it's not uncommon to see 30k HP Theo Mars with attack crit damage HP with over 200 speed just from subs. I've seen some crazy ones, like 220 speed, but 30,000, and like attack, crit damage, attack. Well, 30,000 30, HP is going to be attack, crit damage, HP. But just like such amazing subs overall that he's more of a tanky bruiser because you can't just like kill him, one-shot him. You have to like take multiple hits, and you're like, oh my god, how much HP does this damn Theomars do? I, how much HP does he do? How much HP does he have? But yeah, we'll see some crazy, crazy Theomars this is as well. But that's, uh, that's gonna be Theomars. Let's go for Veramos next. Veramos is, this is mostly for early game, uh, early to transitioning to mid game. Speed HP, HP, or speed HP defense. Generally, you want Violent or Swift. Swift, early, early, early game. Swift energy is fine. Um, but you want as much speed as possible. You want him to get as many turns as possible, just to get that conversion of magic as much as possible. Also keep in mind that if you tweak your speed a little bit here and there, like don't put 50 speed on it. Like give him 200 speed, please. Um, if you can, if you can get like only plus 30 speed on him on violent, don't do violent. You swift is fine. Swift is fine for early game. Lots of speed. Most important is speed because you want this passive to to come into effect every uh, as as much as possible. Also, 
depending on you might it might be only a matter of a little speed here and there to get him for example cutting in between in giants b10 to cut in between the defense breaking tower and the giants big nuke if you tweak the speed a little bit it could help you get that sweet spot of sweet of speed to to cleanse that defense break off so keep that in mind as well same thing basically with dragons and if you're using vertical uh, a lot of people i'm sure are going to be using vertical with theomars uh theomars veramos though so um you worry about it less but just as much speed as possible to get his passive activating as much as humanly possible um then also his damage is based on speed and we have this is damage based on uh, max HP. I don't think it really does too much damage based on max HP though. Even if you do like HP core damage HP, but uh, you don't need really, don't do HP core damage HP for uh, Veramos. Uh, let's see. People have toyed with speed core damage attack Veramos, but ultimately only a small handful still use him like that. Theo Marge does Theo Marge. Theo Mars does much better with those runes. Speed core damage attack can possibly be used when transitioning from a safe Dragons B10 teams to a speed Dragons B10 team, but only temporarily before you build Tarks, etc. So, keep that in mind for... I don't really see speed per damage attack too often for Veramos, but some people have played with it a little bit. Ultimately, they change it back to whatever. So, um, but you really... He's, the the later later game, you're not going to use him too much. So, anyway. Just build him. He's a support unit. Just build him for support. But he's got also good base defense as well. Good base defense. Um... Keep that in mind. One of the higher base defenses. Compared to his base HP is not that great. But his base defense is good. Uh, anyway, what do we have next? A Camomere. So, there's a way that I have mine built which is very odd. Hear me out though. Cleave... Uh, the, uh, let's, let's go standard Giants B10 build. Standard Giants B10 build first. Um, either... Well, I said Fatal or Rage. You don't need Rage if you're doing Giants B10 with a Camomere. Probably you don't have Rage runes. Um... Fatal or Rage and Blade, right? Fatal Blade or Rage Blade. Speed core damage attack works. Uh, and rune right to go after Galleon. So speed tune him to go right after Galleon or whatever other defense breaker you have. Make sure he's... For, like... Okay. If you have a defense breaker and then you have multiple other debuffers, make sure defense breaker goes first. Debuffers, other debuffers go second. And Camry goes third because he's going to do multiple damage. Uh, damage multiplied by the amount of harmful effects on the enemies. So, if you have things that do damage over time, uh, or glancing hit or attack break or whatever else, ruin those to go right after your defense break, and then come in with Camry because he's going to do more value damage uh, after that. So, uh, like I said, Fatal or Rage and Blade, Speed or Damage Attack. You could even go Swift, Attack or Damage Attack. Make sure he's speed tuned correctly though to go after your other... You gotta... He's more of a monster that needs to be set up. Uh, TOA build is Despair and Value 2 set, right? Because he's got double AoE, so he's going to be really nice for uh, Despair. His second skill already stuns, but this skill doesn't. Um, value 2 set, like Focus, is nice for the built-in stun on skill 2. Speed could damage HP. This way he's got a little bit of a tankiness to him. He doesn't need to do damage based on his max HP, but like at least he does some tankiness for if you're going to do. But if you're using TOA uh, and TOA hard, if you're using a lot of dots, if you're using a lot of stuns, he's going to get a lot of value out of this Mac Crush. I had a former guildmate that used to do that. He used to do defense breaks, lots of dots, stuns, and then come in with Mac Crush. And he used to have uh, a lot of crit damage on him and have him on despair. And it was really, really nice for TOA hard. He would do TOA hard with that. So keep in mind, also he's got a leader skill, uh, accuracy 41% everywhere. So he can potentially be good for landing those debuffs in uh, TOA hard as well. Um, although, the, the multiple people have said that like you don't need a whole lot of accuracy for TOA hard. But if you have like very low accuracy, it could help. It could help. Um, anyway, also I want to show my Akamir build. Because my Akamir is kind of uh, weird. This is a different Akamir build than normal. So this is double shield, will speed, crit damage, attack. Really, I don't even know why he even has speed on here. Probably has... Uh, yeah, I really don't know why he has speed on here. I just went for value, a lot of value everywhere. So this is a turn two cleave team. So I'll show you guys the the stuff. No, I'll show you guys what I, uh, what I do with it. I have him runes to go with Rika. And I have him runes to go with... Where is he? Galleon number two is somewhere. 
Yeah, this is a double shield world galleon. Okay. So I have from rune like this. Usually usually use this in uh in Guild War. I use it in also arena offense when the enemy doesn't have I'll use it with Zaros in in the uh, arena offense. But I'll use it when the enemy does not have any strips, right? So if they have like some moth Orion has a little bit of a strip, but enough double, uh, enough shield and will. You don't have to really worry about that. Um, but I'll use these three and Zyros for ring offense. I'll use just these three for Guild War offense. Basically, Galleon comes in, he times the loot. Rika comes in, she does a whole bunch of dots, and then uh, Kimir will come in, and I mean she's just gonna murder everything anyway. But yeah, she's just gonna murder everything anyway. But a Camry will come after that and he'll just nuke and do extra multiply damage for all those dots. I know Shredder Puzzle also does something similar, but instead of Rika, he uses the water uh, homunculus. The, the uh, damage over time build, right? So you want to make sure that your defense break moves first. You can even use Mantura. You don't even need Galleon for this, right? You don't even need Galleon. You could use Mantura on Despair. Uh, and you could use like Mantura... Beretta even like if you want to be like more free-to-play friendly you could be Mantura Beretta and a Camir just make sure that they have enough tankiness on them like I'll show you guys yeah Luer Lu Lu has a lot of uh, great stats make sure they're tanky enough to survive a hit from like Perna for example so if it's like Samoth Orion Perna X but X is not a stripper it's like Samoth Orion Perna and uh Ritesh on defense like there's not enough strip on there to be reliable So I could just take that team and he can survive a hit from Perna especially with all the shield mostly because of all the shield right mostly because of all the shield He can survive a hit from Perna, but uh, but yeah, it's it's nice. It works. Uh, it works nice If the enemy doesn't have any strips or like in arena uh, in Guild War defense when it's like CR Orion Perna he can survive that too because of all the shield unless we get really lucky and he gets immunity stripped and he gets the defense break uh, on him, and he gets the shield strip too, and it's like, okay, then you just got RNG'd at that point, but... But that's, uh, that's what I have him on for... For what's-his-face? For what's-his-face berries. For, uh, arena offense and guild war offense. So that's a cleave build, it's a double shield will. You can also do the spare will, uh, or shield will, and whatever two set that's a value runes. Overall value stats is gonna be good for that specific usage. Uh, rune to move right after your defense breakers and multi debuffers, like I said. But you can use again. Uh, you could even use uh, you could use Luer, the water phantom thief, and you can use uh, another daughter, like water homunculus or like Beretta. But it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice team. So you just got to make sure they don't have a lot of strippers if you're going to do uh, turn two shield will. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I basically talked about all that. Tessar. Oh. Tessarion is the most interesting one. Let's talk about Elsharion first. Now, Elsharion's uh, El not really in here. Actually, no, let's talk about Tessarion first. Let's talk about Tessarion first. Okay, so there's a few different ways to ruin Tessarion. If you want to ruin him for support, you can ruin him tankier. If you want to ruin him like a tanky bruiser, which a lot of people are doing in RTA, there's a tanky bruiser build for him as well. There's I don't see too many people doing speed grid damage attack for him. I see mostly tanky bruisers or like early game people do him for support. And then, uh, and then, like, later game RTA people doing, like, tanky bruisers. So you can go Violent Will, Violent Focus, Violent Revenge, because he revenge can proc, uh, like, for example, Camila will target him, and he can revenge proc Ancient Power. Or revenge proc hit Mega Smash with Ancient Power, it makes him oblivious. Uh, keep in mind also, damage inflicted by enemies with harmful effects by 30% and makes him oblivious, right? So... He actually does multiply damage kind of like a camera. No one remembers this pa this part of the passive, but if you have multiple debuffs on the enemy, he will nuke. So he can do he can do really nice damage. And then this is based on his attack speed. So you want him to be uh pretty fast overall anyway because you want him to get a lot of turns to apply that oblivion. Uh, but anyway, he's got pretty decent base uh, base HP though. Not bad. His not his base stats are not that bad. Uh, let's see. So like I said, Violent Will, Violent Focus, Violent Revenge, Violent Blade if using the crit damage build, but really only if you're using the crit damage build. Uh, I would say for PvP, since he's only really for PvP, I would say Will is pretty damn important on him. Uh, but also Revenge. I've seen people do full Revenge on him, I've seen people go double Revenge Will. I got wrecked by double Revenge Will on, like, he just revenged every single turn. I was like, he's on Will! How is he on Revenge too? He was double Revenge Will. Um... 
Tanky Bruiser build would be speed, core damage, HP. Uh, of course, Violent is the blade is, is the one that I would go for uh, most likely. Violent will. Um, speed, core damage, HP. You can do speed, defense, HP, or speed, HP, HP for the support only build. I think that's more for earlier game, and then later game you'd want to progress to speed, core damage, HP. Uh, high accuracy is important on him because you want him to land. Every skill he has does is a single target, but every skill he has has debuffs. And if you're if you have low accuracy, what's the point of even using Jessarion? Because you want the Oblivion, you want it to land. Uh, Rune to move slightly before Theomars if they're if you're using them together, so even more speed than Theom if you because you want Theomars to have good speed, but you want Jessarion to move first. Uh, if you're using for arena offense, Rune to move right before your primary nuker. So, for example, I know some people have done this, like, they'll use, like, they'll see the things with, like, the crazy passives, and they'll, they'll go, like, Tiana, Galleon, Tessarion, and then burst damage, like, for example, maybe Alicia, or Lil Tay Tay, Water Camera, um, so you could do, I've seen people do that as well. Uh, and I think they might be using speed for damage attack for those, because you don't really want like a tanky bruiser type if you're going for aggressive arena offense. So, I, I would guess if you're going to use that speed with damage attack probably is going to be your best option. Uh, I actually added J-Mac in the game just to see his Tessarion because he was using Tessarion in one of the one of the matches for like uh, the finals or something like that. Or some some tournament thing. And I was like, his Tessarion's really nice. I'm going to add him for Tessarion. And it was like not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Um, anyway. So that's the sound. We'll look at some different builds from high-level players in just a minute. Let's talk about El Sharion, the one that's not even here. Let's let's go back to Verma. Pretend this is El Sharion. Pretend this one is El Sharion, which is you can't even click on him. But pretend he's well, people are getting get, get confused. Let's go just to this spot where he would be, where he will be. So El Sharion is going to have the same first and second skills as Tessarion and Theomars. He's going to have a uh, single target attack, but they all have single target attack based on speed, right? Second skill is going to be a uh, multi-hit that does a defense break. Think about him like Theomars, though, as far as uh, the closest to Theomars, since he's going to be element neutral, right? Element neutral, triple hit, defense break. I'm, I'm seeing, like, Theomars' resemblance there. And then the third skill is going to be a multi... From what I understand so far, it's going to be a multi-hit, unless they change it, multi-hit damage scaling on speed. So, I think for arena defense, is going to be really nice to have him. Speed crit damage attack is going to make the most of him. Rage blade or rage will. Uh, speed crit damage attack, high speed, good cr uh, And for as far as subs, speed crit damage crit rate attack, right? Think about him like, basically like a Theomars, but AoE. Not at all overpowered. I think a cool combo with him for arena offense would be... Check this out. Hold on. Check this out. But hold on, though. Where are you? Where are you, dummy? Man, where's Gemini? Oh, there's Gemini. Okay. Gemini. Orion. I don't know if this guy's out, though. This one. And then we'll use... I guess we'll use it, whatever. We're just pretending that it's uh, El Sharion anyway. So what's gonna happen? We're gonna outspeed with Orion. We're gonna we're gonna get turn one. We're gonna strip and then stun and then defense break and whatever with Orion. We're gonna come in with Gemini. We're gonna strip everything. We're going to um, we're gonna defense break everything, right? Strip, defense break, potentially stun. Excuse me. We come in with Kreisvelk, Kreisvelk, and we do skill three. Little bit of fluff damage, plus we have an attack power buff and attack speed buff. If El Sharion's third skill, unless they change it before they release it, if his third skill is still scaling on attack speed, then he's going to get that buff of attack speed, the buff of attack power, and he's going to have an AoE defense break. So he's going to come in and he's going to be fully prepared to nuke everything. Just make sure that your Gemini is tuned to go before... Krayzvelg, otherwise Gemini is not, passive is not going to work, right? So you got to make sure there's no buffs on Gemini for his passive to take full advantage of that. But I think that combination is going to be awesome when El Sharion first comes out. Alright, okay, so we went through all of that. Let's take a look at some of the rune builds from some of the top 
players. I don't know that they're going to use too much Akamir and Veramos, but let's at least see the Theomars and Tessarions and then whatever else we can find. All right, guys, first solid Theomars of the day. Look what kind of stats we have. We have over 2,000 attack total, like 2,100 plus attack. We have over 200 speed, nice crit rate, nice crit damage. Doesn't need to be any higher crit rate. We could use some more accuracy. Uh, I'm actually, I was expecting this Theomars specifically to be like uh, plus 20, because of whose it is. I was expecting it to be like plus 20,000 uh, HP, but we have speed. Nice, look at the nice stats here. Speed, crit damage, and attack, right? Pretty standard Theomars. Nice speed, nice crit rate, nice overall, nice stats. He's got a little bit of HP to him as well. I know a lot of people, it's really hard if you're trying to do all that damage with him to get decent HP. Eventually, you'll get there. Eventually, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding to get good runes, keep grinding to get uh, good stuff from the raids and you'll get there but this is pretty solid like this is a nice it's a great theomars that you can aspire to it's not aspires but it's a great theomars that you can aspire we could look at his i guess uh but you can aspire to have a theomars that looks like this it's could be better i've seen better but this is a nice theomars to shoot for all right so this is the same person and this is they have uh this tessarium looks very similar to that theomars doesn't it speed crit damage attack very similar to that. I think, I wonder if they're using him in RTA or where they're using him specifically if they're using him. Because this, this Tessarion, this is one of the more aggressive Tessarions. He'll dish out a lot of damage. I've seen Tessarions. It's really nice stats overall for a Tessarion though. The only thing that I would say is I wish he had more accuracy. I wish he had more accuracy. Because 25 accuracy, you might not be landing that a whole lot. But look, all this value stats so far, over, overall, so far. With nice value stats on everything. Nice. Again, I've seen better, but this is a pretty solid, pretty solid Tessaron to shoot for. This is more of an aggressive style of Tessaron, but he still has some decent, like, he's still got decent defense, he's still got decent HP, he's not super squishy. Nice, solid Tessaron. Alright, this is one of my former guildmates. Really, really solid player. I want to say he's G3 player. Either G, maybe maybe G2 G somewhere around G2 G3 right somewhere around G2 G3 uh, low at on the accuracy but speed crit damage nice stats one of the better again one of the Theomars to shoot for I feel like a lot of times when we see Theomars at this level he's got more HP but also he's got no uh, accuracy here and then he's got a second Theomars what does he have here very similar stats on the second Theomars, but this one's on Destroy, so maybe sometimes he's like, let me bring that Destroy in. Maybe for Guild War Offense or Siege Offense, or, or it's uh, probably for Guild War Guild Siege. Something like that. Okay, to Sarion number th Theomars. Theomars number three. You think that I, I, after so many Violent Procs, I'd remember his name, right? Theomars, you got a Violent Proc some more, apparently. Or, or all your Violent Procs have crushed my skull and I can't remember your name now. That's the more likely scenario. Anyway, so another another Theomars. Speed crit damage attack. Nice, solid overall subs. And Violent Revenge. And it, it's 20,000 HP. But there's some that have even like 30,000 HP. So, we'll, so I'm, I'm going to find one. I'm going to find one. I'm going to find one. Accuracy could be a little bit... He does have a defense break. I feel like the accuracy could be nicer, but it doesn't need super crazy. Again, it does not need super crazy um, crit rate. All right, Theomars number four, I think. Okay, speed. Again, speed, crit damage, attack. We're seeing it's like a broken record here. He's got like 20,000 HP. He's got like 210 speed. Very similar to the last one. Very similar to the one before that. A little bit extra crit damage. Nice crit damage on here because he is on violent. So where's the crit damage coming from? Uh, just here and there. Okay, so just he, the crit damage is coming from uh, a few different spots here and there, but no, it's it's got a decent amount more crit damage than the the last one. But I think it's lacking, not lacking attack. It's got less attack than the other ones, but it's got more crit damage. Okay, so this is a more support style, tankier support style uh, to Sarion. The other one we saw was more aggressive. This one is speed, HP, HP, and this is more of a tanky support style. To Saren. He's got a decent amount of crit rate though, 60% crit rate, so eventually he's going to start hitting for decent damage as the match goes on, but this is, he's using it in more of a 
from what I can see, from what the runes tell me, he's using it in more of a slow, tanky bruiser kind of setup. He's not going for a speed nuke with this Tessarion for anything. So he's using it with maybe, maybe like a Wusa, maybe like a Veladrol, maybe some things to keep it safe. And we're not going for like a quick, a quick, um, uh, a quick nuke or, or, or we're not going for a click, click, cleave, quick cleave. Do it, say words. Okay. Okay, you, you get the idea, though. You get the idea. <laughs> Alright, so this is another Tessarion. We're seeing some aggressive, uh, more aggressive Tessarions today with the crit damage. This is how they're killing things. This is how they're killing things. So I wonder if he uses this, like, followed up with a... with a Perna or some other kind of, uh, burst damage when he's doing RTA. So this is speed, crit damage, HP. Look at the stats on that rune, though. I mean, if you got those stats on an HP rune, who else are you gonna stick it on? But that's a good Tessarion. That's a good Desarion rune, that's a good Chow rune, that's a good Camila rune, that's a good Wind Monkey rune, that's a good Fire Monkey rune. You know what, that's just, just say that's a good rune for like, anyone. That's a gorgeous rune. Can we just, I'm sorry, can we just look at this, keep looking at this rune for a second? Cause that's a nice looking rune, okay. What do we have here? Not as beautiful as that other rune. Some of these runes are pretty nice looking though, some of these runes are pretty nice looking, but okay, we got speed for damage attack, more of an aggressive uh, Tessarion build. Okay, another Tessarion. This one is pretty tanky though. Look at the stats here. Lacking a little bit on the crit rate, a little bit more accuracy than some of the others, which is great. I think overall though, great stats. I know it looks like, oh, it doesn't have 200 plus speed, but look at whatever else it has. It's got, it's got, what, HP, crit damage, HP, but it's still got decent defense, right? Doesn't have crazy attack though. So let's see what we have. HP, crit damage, HP. And even did Blade, but... So we got, like, n almost no crit rate in subs. G okay, lot, lots of HP. So this is, again, going in more of a tanky, bruiser-style team. I'm sure that they're going in with, like, Wusa and other stuff in here as well. So this is a tanky bruiser to Sarion that's going to dish out. Eventually, I mean, as, as, as RTA matches, because a lot of people using these are RTA. Um, as RTA matches go on, he's going to be able to just destroy things, so. His attack power will increase, and then with the crit damage, and then multiple, if there's multiple debuffs on, on them, he's going to be able to wreck. And all the speed is from subs, too. Not plus 95 speed. If you can get the speed from subs, you can go tanky like this. Okay, we have another Tessarion here. This Tessarion, look at how tanky, 30,000 HP, 218 speed, Good accuracy. What does this Tessarion not have? Okay, great runes. He's got very, very, very good runes. Look at those. Those are really nice value runes. Really, really nice runes. 30,000 HP. Still 200 plus, like almost 220 speed. Good, and good accuracy. This is the thing that like a few of the other Tessarions were, I feel, were lacking. Which I feel Tessarion needs good accuracy. I mean... He needs, he, he, that's what he's there for. He's there for the Oblivion. He's not Theomars, he's there for the Oblivion. But this is, this is more of a uh, tanky bruiser style to Sarah. Look, he's even got good, good enough defense and good enough attack as well. Really, really solid to Sarion though. Here we go, another solid to Sarion. 229 speed, super tanky, 33,000 HP. Good accuracy, not crazy, cra so it's speed, HP, HP. But this is more of a, oh yeah, speed, HP, HP. But it is, it's revenge, will, and shield. Didn't I say that? Well, I, was, I said some people do like double revenge, will. So it's not even on violent, but he's on solid, solid runes overall though. What was that? Speed 22? Nice, nice runes. Not violent. But he does have the revenge, so he's got an extra chance, he's got will. And, and I guess this is a nice thing to go in if you feel like you're gonna get, like, you, you could bring him out against Cleaves, though, because he's tanky, he's got resistance lead, plus he has uh, will and shield as well. So, no violent proc chance, but revenge chance. So, there's another, that's another option, and I know this is actually being used in, uh, in RTA. <laughs> All right, another Tessarion. They're looking very similar now. Okay, we got speed, HP, attack. What do we have here? Speed, HP, it's, oh wait, it's actually speed, HP, attack in that exact order too. Solid stats overall though, and endure 
just because they wanted the good, like, great Endor runes, right? Good value Endor runes. Ah, uh, this coin could be better value Endor rune, but... I guess he's got what he's got. But, I mean, this you can see he's clearly being used for stuff. He's clear. I guess he's being used for RTA, but probably not super a lot all the time. I was trying to find more Theomars with the... I guess Theomars with the 30k HP are not being... No, I know they're used. I just can't find them. I just... I couldn't find them. Because I know this guy had... The same guy had... Because he was showing me his 30,000 uh, HP Theomars that had still good, great other stats. But I guess he's just... Uh, he cha Maybe he changed it to... I don't know what he changed it to. I don't know what runes, where those runes went. But... Was this was one of the ones that was using the 30,000 HP Theomars? All right, we may have had to check the monster discussion. Here we go, though. HP crit damage attack. Look at the stats, though. Look at the stat. No accuracy, which is a bummer. But decent crit rate, decent crit damage. Nice everything and 30,000 HP. That's very nice. There's no will and not a lot of resistance, but tanky Theomars. What kind of stuff do we have on this one? A little bit, maybe on the, maybe too fast, right? Feel like this one might be a little bit too fast. Not even, not even skilled up. Didn't even skill up the Theomars though. Didn't even skill up the Theomars. This one is a little bit, uh, it's a little, this one's a little fast too. I wonder if like, maybe they, maybe they're, they're pairing these more with, uh, with the Raccoonies though. But look, this is another, it's nice that we see some decent HP on them as well. Speed crit damage attack, but still decent HP. This is what I was going, this is what I was trying to show, that some of the really solid Theomars have, like, just 30,000 HP in, like, so this is more, this is more what I was trying to show this one. Not this one specifically, but that people are building Theomars that have, like, 30,000 HP, but still really solid stats overall for everything else. And perfect crit rate, 85%, perfect, and actually skilled up his skills. Amazing. Okay, so this one, these are not going to be the better ones. I'm going to show you one of my baby accounts, and I'm going to show you how I have my Theomars ruined speed crit damage attack on Endure, right? Nothing super crazy, like I said, again, baby account. But I tried to get at least good stats on him. He's plus, he's plus 83 speed. He's not amazing, but he's got enough crit rate to crit. He's got a little bit more accuracy than the other ones. He's got a decent amount of crit damage. Not as much HP as I would like, but it's a decent early game Theomars, right? And then we have, I actually came out here to show you the Veramos, because I couldn't find... No one that I, I have on my friends list that's like high level. Like, I have a bunch of high level players on my friends list, right? Because we do R5 and stuff like that. So I couldn't find really a lot of people that still used Veramos. Uh, so anyway, this is a baby account. Uh, alt account, alt account. I know when I say baby account, people get mad. Uh, alt account. Speed, HP, HP. Decent enough, plus 86 speed, not bad. Tanky enough to survive with the HP. He could be HP defense though, that's fine. Because he's got decent base defense. So, you kind of get more value out of that than the other stuff. But anyway, that's uh, that's one baby count Veramos. Let's go check out another one. Okay, so this is another one of my alt. We got so many alts, so many alts. Accuracy 69, great accuracy. So I think he's on Swift. Okay, he's on Swift Blade. Speed, HP, HP. This is another one. Um, I don't think I had like I think I just ruined him so long ago. Excuse me. That I that I it was before I was even running dragons. He's got good speed. I didn't have any. Whenever I ruined him, I didn't have any um, violent runes. So. Swift works just fine. You just want him to get a lot of turns to get his first passive to activate as much as possible. But this is again, this is another baby count. Veramos, we see a lot of speed. Accuracy, because he needs, he needs, he's got the stun, right? He's got the stun. And he's got a, a damage over time, ongoing damage. Stop. So, that's, that's, that's why I had a decent accuracy. We don't need this much accuracy on him, because really he's just for dungeons. But, you just want to have some good speed, decent accuracy, and tankiness. Mainly, that's the standard Veramos. But as you progress through the game, you're gonna you, you're gonna find the higher your level, the less you're gonna use him. Kind of like here's here's the thing: low level Veramos is your main dude, right? Veramos is awesome. He's like the best thing for you. You're gonna progress a little bit more. You're gonna be like, okay, I kind of need. You're gonna be starting dragons, uh, not dragons, giants B10. The Cambria is going to be great for you. You farm uh, giants with Veramos, Veramos and a Cambria sometimes, and then you're going to take Veramos out at one point. You're going to be like, oh, it's faster if I just use Cambria, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, you're gonna be using the camera a lot for that. If you get a camera, if you don't get a camera, you're not using him. Uh, then you get progressively even more in the game. Then you're like, oh, it's all about Theo Mars because I'm doing PvP, so I gotta do Theo Mars for Guild War or Guild Siege and stuff like that. And then you get to like this high level of pay to win RTA. Maybe some people m might not get to there, but at that highest level, it's like it's all about Tessarion. Tessarion counters all the crazy OP passives that you see in RTA. Like Tian Lang, like Ragdoll, like Feng Yen, like Rakuni. There's like all these passives you need to set around to counter. So I'm sure I'm missing like 500% of them. But you see like that's at that level. The more you progress through the game, the 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 different of uh, the different Ifrits are going to be more valuable for you. So Veramos at the beginner level, a Camir, uh, Theo Mars, and then to Sarion at those different stages of the game. So anyway. Like the when when you you're high level RTA, you're not using a camera. No one came your high level RTA. But of course, when you're early game, you're like, what does Tessaron do? He's garbage. I don't need him for anything. He's not gonna help you in dungeon runs, right? So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of this video. I was probably longer than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like 15 minutes, but I just wanted to make sure everyone has the information, as much information as possible. Sees different builds for things from different players and kind of gets an idea of how to ruin them anyway guys hope you enjoyed it that's all for this one i will see you as always in the next video